right, and welcome back to the Monday Injury Report. I'm your host, Nick Valletta, joined as always by Dr. Mark Casimero. What's up, Mark? What up, everyone? I hope everyone had a good 4th of July weekend. Nice to be back. Woo-hoo! <laughs> yeah, I, I did have I had a very fun 4th of July weekend, and but now it's back to reality. This is kind of a slow time for sports. I mean, uh, Women's World Cup. Copa America and Gold Cup just ended, um, and now we're about to go into the all-star break for baseball. So with that, let's talk about a couple um, baseball injuries. The league leader in home runs, Christian Yelich, um, who was the number one seed in the home run derby, has um, backed out with a back injury. He said he tweaked it um, in one of the last games before um, the break. And now he's not going to participate. Um, talk about the home run derby in general. Like you had a bunch of guys getting up there swinging for the fences. Uh, if you have a back injury like that, that um, that repetitive motion of doing a home run derby, um, I'm assuming can't be good for any type of uh, injury you're dealing with. So just talk about that and how that could affect somebody who's dealing with some back pain. And he has been dealing with this off and on this season, but has been managing it okay. But I'm assuming uh, home run derby wouldn't have done him any good yeah so absolutely what you just said i mean it's it's kind of a repetitive motion i know with the home run derby a lot of these baseball players actually have to change the mechanics of their swing so in order to get like a lot of lift on the ball and get it out of the ballpark they actually have to you know there's a lot of scientific terms let me put on my let me put on my glasses here my nerdy glasses again my pocket protector you know things like launch angle ooh, exciting um you know the way that they're swinging through these balls to get them out of the ballpark changes a little bit that's you know you hear a lot about Mike Trout, he's never done a home run derby. He probably never will because you see a lot of these guys, they'll do the home run derby and then they're kind of ruined the rest of the season because it just ruins their swing. You know, they, they work on the swing one way for 300 days out of the year and then they change it up with the batting, uh, the home run derby, and then that kind of puts them in a funk for the rest of the year. And then you add into that a guy that has a lingering low back injury. You know, you see a lot of these guys, they take a lot of swings if they make it to the to the final rounds. Um, you know, someone who's got a lingering low back injury and a team that is trying to push for a playoff spot. I think they're second in the West right now, uh, pushing for that wild card spot. They're going to need this guy going forward. So, you know, it just makes sense. Don't don't chance it. There's no reason to go out there for the home run derby. Yeah, you might come out on the other end. You might feel fine, but there's probably a better chance uh, that you're going to ruin your swing and you're going to hurt your low back and you're going to need to miss uh, substantial time. So use the all-star break to get a little bit healthier, get a little bit more rest so that you're ready to go for the second part of the season and you can finish this season strong with your team. Hopefully continue to lead the league in uh, home runs as the season ends. So I think it's more precautionary and it just kind of makes more sense not to have a guy that's not hundred percent out there hacking away, really trying to hit for the fences and, and injure himself further than he already is. Yeah. I mean, he's a young kid too, 27. So I'm sure if, if he keeps up at the way he's been playing, he keeps up at that pace, he'll have uh, a chance to uh, compete in the home run derby uh, in the in the future. Sticking with baseball, Red Sox uh, pitcher Nathan, or should I say Red Sox closer, uh, <laughs> Nathan Evaldi, um, uh, had uh, some surgery to clean up some stuff in his elbow in mid-April. Um, but they're saying now when the Sox return from the All-Star break that he is going to be the team's closer. Um, how... How does this new position, this new role for him, how is this going to affect that elbow that he's, uh, you know, coming back from? He's, we talked about it in the pre-show. You said he already had a couple Tommy John surgeries. So what could this type of role um, do to that elbow? Yeah, so I think he had surgery to remove some loose bodies, which is very common for baseball players to have, especially pitchers to have loose bodies. It's cartilage, there's pieces of bone in there, just kind of scar tissue, just junk from throwing. You know, obviously it's an unnatural motion. So a lot of these guys have to do this. I think David Price had the same procedure going back a few years. Um, you know, usually it's a kind of a routine cleanup. But in my mind, it always kind of raises the red flag about, you know, usually there's something else going on. There could be, that you know, like you said, fear of, of having that Tommy John surgery, which is a tear of your ulnar collateral ligament or your UCL ligament, which is kind of on the inside of the elbow here. So yep. a lot of forces as they're coming through throwing it. So as a closer, you know, you, you're not going to pitch many, you know, as many innings as you would if you were a reliever or even a starter, but the intensity at which you're throwing is usually a little bit uh, more. So you're usually coming out of the bullpen in these high pressure situations 
and you're usually having to reach down and throw a little bit harder, you know, throw in the 90s to 100s. We know of all that can get up there. Um, but, you know, you're coming right out and you're throwing 40, 50 pitches if, if you're going that far, maybe not that far as a closer, but 30, 40 pitches at, you know, 100% intensity, you know, is a little bit different than being able to, to wiggle around, maybe not throw as hard when you're a starter and just kind of get those innings. So, you know, I, I'm already nervous as a Red Sox fan with the way they've been playing this year, even more nervous now. You know, with a guy who's got two Tommy Johns in the bag already, he's coming off elbow surgery, then you're going to ask him to be a closer for the last three months or so of the season. He's going to be putting a lot more strain on that elbow as a closer. He's going to be throwing a lot harder. You know, there's no, no, there's no, there's nothing to say that he couldn't get through the season and be fine, but there's also a great, great risk that he, you know, pops his ulnar collateral ligament again or has to go back on the, on the injury list with maybe tendonitis or that elbow starts acting up on him again. Um, I think he's scheduled to throw a couple of rehab starts. He's been fine. But again, you know, you don't really know how these guys are going to do until they get out there and they have to actually throw in a real live ball game with real live hitters and that type of thing, especially with the pressure that's going to be on him as a closer. So, yeah, I, I, I'd be really concerned. Concerned from a starting position. If they lose another starting pitcher, they're kind of going to be really hurting. If if they can't, you know, get a volley to stay healthy, they're going to be hurting even further with that. So, yeah, keep your fingers crossed if you're a Red Sox fan. It looks like they're not going to have a not going to have an easy time catching the Yankees this season. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I'm not overly confident with this move. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a necessity move. They just their bullpen is so atrocious. So we'll see how it works out. But I mean, take the physical things away from it. I know that just like the closer has to have a certain mentality to him, and you know. I, I, I know even with Kimbrel, you know, Kimbrel with it, and even going back to Papelbaum, they, they just seem to be nuts. You know, these closers come in and they're just like, they're so uh, like hyper focused on what they need to do and they just kind of look crazy. Um, yeah. uh, it's a job that uh, is not an easy one. So we'll see right. how that works out for them. Last one I got for you, Mark. Uh, Zion Williamson left his uh, first summer league game. Um, they're calling it a bruised left knee, and they're shutting him down. So you won't see him again till probably uh, preseason NBA games um, with the Pelicans. Number one overall pick. Um, you think this is just them just being really cautious with their uh, new toy? Yeah, absolutely. I think he's the number one pick. I think there, there's no chance he's not going to make the senior team You know, come the fall. They're going to want him to be able to participate and contribute. You know, I think the developmental league is only about a month long. So I think it runs through July and then it's over. Or maybe it runs through the middle of July, then it's over. So, you know, there's really no point, no point to rush him out there. I mean, obviously with, with already a knee injury, he could go out there and injured even further and then have to miss a lot of time during the regular season. So just makes sense. Shut him down, get him ready a hundred percent for when preseason starts. And uh, when you guys start playing real games in the fall time, um, no reason to rush him. If you give him this time, he should be fine without a problem come, you know, September, October, November, when these teams start ramping up for the regular season. So cautionary, that's it. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Um, I don't blame them either. You know, you don't want this guy going down with some fluke injury before he even uh, sees the his first NBA game. Well, Mark, that's all I got for you for this week. Um, anybody out there, if you have any questions about your favorite player, anybody who's on your fan fantasy baseball team, leave them in the comments below. Um, this is the slow time of the year. There's uh, really not a ton of um, things going on, some off-season moves and a few different sports. But before you know it, training camp will be starting for football and uh, baseball will be hitting there, hitting the playoffs. And uh We'll be back into the full swing of things. But, um, Mark, as always, thank you for joining us, and we will see everybody next week. Peace, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Peace. Uh, uh, uh.